the second principle of measurement uncertainty estimation is about measurement procedure or analysis procedure. The essence of this principle is that the measurement procedure must correspond to the measurement definition. So if we determine the pesticide content only in the peel, then obviously we have to separate this peel from the rest of the orange. If, on the other hand, we want to determine the pesticide content in the overall orange, we must analyze the overall orange. And since most probably pesticide content is different in different parts of the orange, we must homogenize it carefully. So the measurement procedure must make every effort to really correspond to the measurement definition. Let us briefly look what the measurement procedure looks like if we want to determine pesticide content in orange. And suppose we want to determine it in the overall orange, meaning all parts of it included. The first part of this procedure almost always is homogenization. This is then usually followed by some kind of extraction or even several extractions. In those extractions, care is taken as to extract the pesticide of, of interest into our sample solution and leave all the other components of orange into the waste. Obviously, orange is a very complex matrix, meaning it has a lot of components. And most of those for us are only nuisance. They are not necessary. We want to get only the analyte out of that orange. Depending on how the procedure goes, the next part of it can be purification of the extract. And sometimes also concentration. And if that is done, then with this extract that we finally have, which contains as much as possible of the pesticides that were in the orange and as little as possible all the other compounds, is then analyzed with a suitable analytical technique. Each and every of these steps introduces some uncertainty. And all those uncertainty sources that are inherent in those steps have to be carefully considered and those that are important need to be taken into account. And this we will look in a separate lecture.